All right, guys, what's up? So, gonna give you an update, show you what I'm dealing with here in this 2019 Dodge Ram. Uh, set it up to uh, be tactical, I guess, somewhat. And guys, you know, anytime you're doing something like this, it uh, ends up being a work in progress. You're always changing everything out. Uh, got the, the limo tinted windows there, whole nine yards, all right? Guys, really nothing much in this front here. A uh, couple storage things down here, whatever. I don't really keep much in there. Uh, in the center, there's a couple wet wipes, stuff like that. But what's really interesting in was what in the back, what's in this back. Guys, check this out, guys. All right. So this is what I am rolling with here. Uh, got the Daniel Defense Mark 18 strap there. Got the individual first aid kit, blowout bag. Um, guys. This is essential down here. Excuse the lighting, this is sort of shitty. Um, guys, a tourniquet, right? I keep tourniquets around, I keep them in my vest, I keep them all over the place, just in case you need it. You never know uh, if you're gonna need one. And this is crucial, because if you get an arterial or arterial wound, uh, it's pretty hard to stop that bleed without a tourniquet, and this could be life-saving when you need it. Um, this bag here is usually where I keep some explosive tannerite. That is empty because we are out at the range having fun the other day. Here is some extra 556 five, green tips. Keep those in here. And what I really like about this truck is the fact that it has a bunch of storage, right? So underneath here, there's storage. Keep a uh, ammo container under here. Um, it's got some 12 gauge bird shot, which guys, I made bird shot, number eight bird shot into slugs. Look at that guys. Made it into slugs. Check it out. Guys, I'm going to do a video. If you guys are interested in seeing how to make these into slugs, message in the uh, comments below and let me know. Maybe I'll do a video on those as well, uh, on, on how to make those awesome because what you could do is you could take number eight bird shot 100 rounds for 21 bucks and turn it into a bunch of slugs and shoot at the fraction of the cost of slugs check this out guys underneath here too i uh, got some storage ear pros my daughter's pink uh <laughs> ear pros there uh some gloves stuff like that underneath here is gonna be look at this this is like a, a little shower kit that i have that i keep in that uh, bug out bag. Uh, it's got some essentials in it. Um, some shampoo, toothpaste, uh, deodorant, Q-tips, uh, all kinds of stuff that you would need. Um, yeah, some toothbrushes, a bunch of different little things there. And underneath here, uh, there's another little storage container here it's got a little beach kit right in here it's got some sunscreen stuff like that got some chem lights wet wipes uh tactical flashlight deep bug spray <laughs> gold bond guys this can save your save your your butt when you get um wet feet in your boots some tide just in case your clothes get dirty you never know you might have to clean those up guys i'm just gonna put this down and reorganize this here we're gonna go around and check out the other side ah uh, look at that some spare mags another first aid kit right here little blade and this big old gerber um uh, i guess you'd call it a machete <laughs> It's a, it's a pretty cool thing to have. Um, never know if you're in the middle of the street, got to cut into a tree or something like that. Who knows, guys? I have it in here just in case. Never know what you'll need something like that for, but I guess it'd be cool to have. Under here is another storage area. Got some, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> 22 mag uh, or 22 uh, LR. Um daughter shot a ton of that here last week and this is just like a little um jumper jumper box set um that you get at at um autozone but um it can also act as a backup for charging your cell phones stuff like that guys i did try this jumping a vehicle um i have a u.s marshal buddy that broke down and he gave me a call this did not work 
on his vehicle. I don't know if it's not strong enough. I don't know what the issue was. Guys, that was the only time that I've ever tried using this to jump a car. So I can't give this a good review right now. However, I can tell you it's good to recharge your phone. Um, but this is a little big carry around the charger phone. So guys, I'd like to try this a couple more times, maybe do a review on that. But at this point, pretty much sucks for jumping vehicles, from my opinion. Uh, this is just like a, a getaway bag. Um, maybe I'll do a review on that at some point in time. Got some hand sanitizer, rubber gloves here, some more gloves over here, because I like redundancy, and some zip ties. A uh, little flashlight over here as well. And guys, here's my, my vest. Uh, this has got level three, level three plates in it. Got some 556 five, mags all over here and uh, spare mag down here. And that's where it connects right there. And guys, another, where is it? Oh, I took it off. I usually have a tourniquet on this as well. Guys, a tourniquets are essential, especially if you're dealing with firearms. Keep those on you at all points in times because you never know if you'll need one. Underneath here, um, got the, uh, tire inflator um some more zip ties guys more zip ties you never know when you'll need those they come in handy some bungee straps some ear plugs down here look at that uh some ear plugs that come with tannerite whenever you purchase that <laughs> all right guys so that's it for this um, review on my truck guys this is probably more than likely going to change I'm always going to be adding things to it possibly taking things out um, you never know where this may go you're always going to need different things or say oh man that's a pretty cool idea to throw that in the truck see how that works out always keep some spare water in here too um, yep check that out spare water bottles now we used those the other day when we were out shooting so got to replenish that I like to keep uh, keep at least a gallon probably should have more than that um, but that's what I keep in here. All right, guys, make sure that you subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel, John Joback, if you haven't done so already. Smash that notification button to get instant notifications on whenever I put up something new. Guys, again, thank you for your continued support. And until next time, train hard and train smart.